We are going to see some showers and thunderstorms as we head through the overnight hours. As we get closer to Saturday, though, I do think rain will end pretty quickly from west to east during the morning hours, and we'll see some sunshine by the afternoon. But we have to get there, and again, the storm system will make its way into central Texas tonight. And there could be some stronger thunderstorms associated with it. We're at least going to go with an isolated threat of some strong to maybe severe thunderstorms across the area. I think best chances will be along and west of Highway 281. Hamilton, Lampasas, Burnett, and through Gulfway and San Saba. Storms should weaken as they cl move closer to the I-35 corridor, but I'm still not going to rule out maybe a wind gust up to 60 miles per hour and the potential for hail, pocket change size hail, nickel to quarter size with a stronger core or two. So that'll be something to keep an eye on. And as we take a look at your future track, we will see those scattered showers and thunderstorms across our area as we head through the evening hours. And as you can see, it may come in a couple of waves here. And then that makes its way to the east as we get towards 6 o'clock Saturday morning. I think a lot of us will start to see things improve as we make our way into Saturday afternoon. This is showing it the possibility of an isolated shower. I think that would be elevated and probably not reaching the ground, but we will keep an eye on that for you. It could produce some gusty winds from time to time as we'll have west winds at 10 to 20 miles per hour on Saturday. And as far as rain amounts, I think this is a little bit overdone. In general, one to two inches of rain will be possible. We may see some isolated three plus inch totals. But I think a big swath of four inches probably not going to happen. But I do think one to two inches, maybe up to three possible. But it is bullseyeing the central and eastern parts of central Texas. So we'll be watching that through the evening hours as we will have that potential for some locally heavy rain, which I do think will be the main threat. So as we get into Saturday morning, looks like temperatures will be falling down into the 50s for most of us. Some 40s out west, though, near Gulfweight and San Saba, and then highs in the upper 60s to near 70 as we make our way into Saturday. Remember, the sun comes out and we'll have a westerly wind at about 10 to 20 miles per hour. And looking at your central Texas 10 day forecast again, 80% chance of thunderstorms likely around sunrise and before on Saturday. By the time we reach mid to late morning going into the afternoon, rain chances come to an end. So again, I have a high rain chance, but that is before sunrise. 69 degrees for a high, 64 degrees on Sunday. Monday at 60 degrees with a northerly wind. So that'll be your coolest day, and that's not too bad because we're right back up into the mid to upper 60s as we head through most of next week, maybe even getting close to 70 here. And there will be a chance for a few more showers as we get into next weekend. In the Brazos Valley, again, same thing. Thunderstorms possible from about mid morning and before. After that, I think everything will clear out very quickly Saturday afternoon. Sunday, 66 for a high, 60 degrees on Monday. And then we're into the 60s, even close to 70 degrees as we make our way into next week with a few shower chances possible.